So, you want to know about cameras? You clicked on this video because you really do. Cam, duh. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, I'm Matt by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at three different types of cameras here in Blender. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the first one, which is, of course, the regular default camera. So, if you click on the camera, hit zero on your numpad, the right hand side numbers over there on, on that. On that uh, area on your on the keyboard on the right hand side you get zero it goes into the camera's view obviously and it looks like this regular camera like you can just look at it you know move the camera around you can hit g to move the camera double tap r to, to rotate it hit zero go back into the camera's view r, double tap r you can move it around you can do anything you want but obviously it's gonna look like this so if you move the camera closer to the to the box it's gonna kind of look like that move it further away it's gonna look like that um, but if you go to the camera's tab here, you can see we are on type perspective, and we also have a focal length option, so we can change the focal length so that it's like super, like first person game, you know what I mean, like it's like you're walking around, obviously things are getting super distorted because the focal length is really, really tiny, um, but we're really close to it. So pretty much what this means is that it's like a wide angle lens is basically what this is mimicking. So wide angle means we get more of the picture, obviously it's less zoomed in, if we up the focal length to like... 70 then obviously we have to zoom back out of our camera move further away and then the subject looks like that because we're like really zoomed in imagine this as like you have um a really 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 long long lens on a camera and you're just stretching the lens out so that you can zoom in further like you're like trying to spy on somebody like because you're like some kind of spies or something i don't know what you're doing but whatever imagine that now if i squish this and imagine you have a really really short lens and the camera is seeing a bunch of stuff like it's at your actual vision like you have peripheral vision and everything that's basically what the low focal length is so if we change this to orthographic the type you can see that the focal length does not matter anymore the focal length will be set at this value forever you can't change the way that it looks even if i rotate the camera you can see if i move the camera if i rotate it it will always look like that it will not get distorted ever it will remain with the these these like 90 degree angles it will always well not 90 degree angles but it will remain with these these proper angles and won't get distorted like like this if i zoom in it won't get distorted like this obviously like this this piece up here looks super way bigger um but yeah it won't it won't get distorted so if we go back to orthographic, you can see the option we do have is orthographic scale. What this is going to do is just going to zoom in and out. It's going to help us zoom in and out if you want to zoom in and out closer, but it will not distort the image as you can see. And the final, 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 final option that we have here is panoramic. Now, when I click this, it looks like it doesn't do anything other than just go back to perspective mode, which is basically just perspective. Um, it works exactly the same way. You can see it looks the same exact way if I go back to perspective or uh, perspective and panoramic look exactly the same, but they're actually not. So if I were to go ahead and move our camera back a little bit like this, and then let's just add in a couple of things. Let me actually put this back on panoramic. Let's just hit shift D, duplicate a couple of these cubes around like this, you know what I mean? Maybe uh, make a new color for one of them so we can tell the difference between them. I'm gonna go to material mode so you can see. Just make a new color for one or two of these, you know what I mean? Just something like this. Hit that button, new color. Um, hit new there, new color for this one, just, you know, just so we can tell the difference, alright? If I were to go ahead and hit render on this, you can see that it, it does nothing, it just shows you the image. But the thing is, is that if we actually change to cycles render, you can see now that when I render this, it will render in a panoramic kind of view. So it's, it's made the, the scene a circle. And it is now capturing everything in the scene. So I can put these off the camera's view, right? So I can put it over here, maybe over here. I can add in a plane, put it over here, duplicate some more of these, and maybe add in a Suzanne monkey, shift A to add things in, by the way. And if I go ahead and render this again, you can see that all of these things in our scene will be visible, even though some of them are halfway off of the canvas because it is rendering everything in a panoramic view. So this is kind of how you make like um, nice world images or whatever you want to do here. I don't know what you're doing, but whatever you're doing, you can see that we have a big, big, big portion of all these things are like halfway off the camera, but when we render them, they do appear because this is panoramic view. These are the three different types of cameras we have in Blender. There is no other types of cameras. Um, there should definitely be some more. You can see the, the 
the entire plane is in view. The entire plane is in view, even though it's completely almost off the camera, um, which is just crazy insane. So these are the three types of cameras we have. You do have to be in cycles to use panoramic. It does not work in EV, unfortunately. But um, yeah, that is uh, pretty much all we have. We have perspective, orthographic, and panoramic. I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.